We are doing something different this morning. Today, instead of our usual shenanigans, we are in between mod packs this Wednesday morning. It's rainy here in the mountains and cool, which is normally lovely. Today, we are going to take a look at a couple of mod packs. Just for fun. I actually have a mod pack in mind for our next playthrough. I do. But these two I wanted to take a look at. One because one is brand new. And I thought it might be worth taking a look at Unchartered Expeditions by Generic B. I know nothing about this mod pack. I watched exactly 60 seconds of his playthrough, just the very beginning. What I saw terrified me, so I decided not to spoil myself any more than I'd already been spoiled. So the plan for today is to take a little peek at two different mod packs. We'll spend about an hour in each. Hopefully this works out. Like, if I get distracted and this is a cool mod pack, we may never get to the second one. But the plan is to do Uncharted Expeditions and then take a look at all of Fabric 7. So we're going to do a little single-player world setup here locally. We'll call this the Uncharted Expeditions Test. In abbreviation, we'll put it on hard mode. Because I'm like that. I'm going to turn cheats on because we're testing, right? It's not an actual let's play. Just in case, we want to take a look at some stuff that's more late game. So that we don't have to go through the hours of doing the resource gathering to do that. Because we're just, we're doing a survey of the mod pack. I do this frequently. I've never done it on a stream. Um, this is actually one of my favorite things to do is download a mod pack and try to play through a couple of hours to see if it's something I want to stream or I want to put on the server for my friends or play or if we want to maybe set up a community server that is looming in the future, by the way. Okay, here we go. We've got a quest book. Looks like a nice generic Minecraft world. What do we got? Your journey begins. Expert light mod pack. Heavily focused on exploration and problem solving. Quest book is a general guide. If you can't complete a quest, it means you need to follow another path until you've unlocked the technologies or you need to dig deeper to puzzle out alternative solutions. Hmm. This is probably not my jam, but there are going to be some people who love this. Got the quest book for that. We need some scavenge pebbles. Don't punch a tree. Pebbles and twigs. And make it into a hatchet. Oh, this is very familiar. Stone hatchet, your first wood chopping tool. Okay. Stone tools. That all sounds very familiar. Here we go. Look at that. There's a stick right there. And a pebble. Give me all the sticks. Give me some bone meal too. I know what those are. Okay, so we've got the little slightly different start. We also have a shipwreck right here. Oh, there is vein mining. Excellent. I need some O2. And I'm hoping there's a chest down here somewhere. Possibly. Bueller. I don't see one. 
Oh, there it is. Nice. Whoa. Oh, goodness. When he's going to drown the first five minutes of the mod pack. That's feature. Okay, so the back of the ship would normally have been here. But I do not see a chest in the usual spot. Okay, what have we got? Oh, we got some pants. It looks like we have immersive armors in here. Pants are good. Let's make our hatchet. Right? Stone hatchet. Boom. Got it. Got some moss blocks. Rope. A couple of carrots. Uh, some more pebbles and twigs. I'm guessing... If I look up stone pickaxe, yes, we can use pebbles and twigs in a crafting table. But let's get ourselves some wood to get that started. Oh, this can take a while. This is a slow hatchet. It deserves very white. Oh, goodness. That kind of scared me. That, ah, there we go. That was very cool. Let's do that again. We chopped a tree down. Okay, I don't think I needed to hold Tilda on that. This has got a tree chopper. <laughs> okay, that might be my new favorite thing ever. That's fantastic. Do it again. Does take a while with our little. There we go. Okay, our little hatchet got us three trees. Wow! That's plenty. We got all kinds of goodies here. Let's do a crafting table and make ourselves a set of stone tools. Um, oops, except I don't think I have enough pebbles. Let's get a couple more pebbles. Pebble, pebble, pebble. I guess we don't need more sticks since we cut down all those trees. Boom. I'm getting more shells. Because that bone meal, I'm sure, will come in handy. That is going to be a very important resource early game. Oh, more pebbles. Got any more pebbles out here? Look at all the pirate ships. I'm guessing there are bad guys on all of those. You know, daylight's a waste and let's do this. Not like to be caught without a sword. Stone pick. Actual stone axe. Stone sword. It's all the usual recipes. In case that was unclear. I have to have a sh Oh, that's a piece of clay, Winnie. I have to have a shovel. And a hoe. Because I'm like that. Okay, let's turn all of our little shells into bone meal. And can our pebbles be turned into cobble? Yes, they can. That's great. We'll use um, sand as our blocks right now. What are you? A quality apple. We'll save that. I need that for something. Got some sticks. Okay, I see... Um... Eat an apple. What have we got in the way of the maps? Looks like journey map. Possibly. Let's head inland, maybe north. I mean, I think we should make a boat. Because I want to see what there is to see. We might spend the first night out on a boat. Okay, can we use our pick to get cobble like normal? Yes, okay, that's beautiful. So, cool little start with the 
hatchet and sticks and twigs. It's fun to chop down a tree. There's waystone. I can see one right there. We can get across this little clip and some coal. Let's grab that while we're here. Hopefully it'll jump into my inventory. Good enough. Don't mind us passing through. Ugh. Was that was that patina? Oh, there's more coal right here. Oh, which I can't reach. So this is where our sand will come in handy. Come to me. Oh, it's down here in the dark. We'll oh, grab some. Grab some copper while we're at it. I don't want to be anywhere near the dark right now. We have no gear. We have no food other than a random apple or two. Ah! Impostor? That's crazy. That's not a real piece of ore. That was pretty funny. I'm so glad I made a knife. A knife. A sword. <clears throat> okay. We were going after a waystone and I got distracted. There it is. Okay. Oh, more carrots. We'll use a. Or are these onions? They might be onions. I think they're onions. Here's our waystone. Is that a skeleton bro? Skeleton bro. What? You gave me a head and something else. What? Wood. Nice. Let's turn that into actual planks. How are we doing? I think we need some bamboo since we're here. And that is very useful. Should probably figure out how to make a backpack sooner rather than later. Huh. Also, I have no room in the backpack, do we? Oh, the bamboo falls over like a tree, too. Okay, that's adorable. I don't really care about the bamboo leaves. Daylight's a waste. Let's see if we can find some kind of village structure dirt hut there's more water i'm a little worried but oh there we go i was gonna say we could just quote unquote be safe in the water but that's not a thing in minecraft anymore like water is Crazy dangerous. Also, these boats don't steal very fast. Oh, I think I know what this is. There's a spawner in here. Let's make some torches before we head over here. This is a fishing thing. Yeah. Little fishing zombie dudes. Which is super cool. We could farm them. And this is probably a safe place to stay. For the moment. We do not have a bed. But maybe there are resources that we can make use of in here. Okay, so it's got these structures. That means... Good morning, instead. It is early. I'm doing a little test play of a new mod pack called Uncharted Expeditions. Also, I want that zombie flesh. Uh, what else can we eat here? Let's eat some onions. That'll be delicious. Oh, look at my pants are fancy. They're cool. They're kind of layered. They have like a chainmail skirt. 
or legging topper with the iron underneath. What are they called again? Warrior leggings. It's kind of it's cool. Okay, let's look at our quest book. See if we get. Oh, we can get vegan hamburgers or hamburger. Now, for those of you who know me in real life, I'm not a vegan, but I am a pescatarian, which means the only kind of meat I eat is fish. So we're going to go with the vegan hamburger option. I'm also going to make a uh, chest so we can look. They have a crafting table too. Let's, or maybe use these barrels. Let's see what's in here. Oh, bucket. Let me uh, let's do some inventory management here real quick. Keep some sticks. I don't think we need all those pebbles. Keep our burgers for sure. Carrots, tomato seeds we can get anywhere. The bamboo. Definitely want the skeleton skull. Patina. What does that do? No idea. Block of patina. Weathered redstone. So it adds the copper color. Oh, so it like instantly turns your copper green. That's pretty cool. I do not need that right now. However, Okay, let's see. We definitely want the bucket. Oh, we get some friends out of our way. I probably want to turn that out and maybe we'll get some spawns. How about if I do this? Maybe it's tough with the new lighting. Is that enough or is there still too much light? We'll close it off entirely, get some spawns and then we can open it. Oh, maybe a trap door. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I think trap doors block light. I could be totally wrong. I am wrong. They're still transparent. Okay, well, old fashioned way. Oh, we have the weird uh, torches not matching problem in this mod pack. That's all right. Okay, we got some raw cod. What else was in here? Dark prismarine. More shells. What's in here? More shells. Cooked stuffed cod. Uh, seashells. What can we do with those? Let's see. What do we got? We can make a sand castle. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I need to do that. You can make seashell tiles. Let's make a sand castle. Like, how groovy is that? I need a stick. Come on, game. Where are my sticks? I wonder if you have to put it on sand. Should we go find out? I'm really scared to find out what kind of mobs. Ooh! Oh, they're spawning outside, I see. Um, I guess if we used slabs. What do we have? We have more wood right now than we do anything else. Hello, Bueller. Hi. What? Yeah, do you see me? Give me a fishing rod, dude. I'm trying to give him some line of sight so they'll come over here. There we go. Hi. What's up? What's up, fishing bros? I also want the zombie flash because we might be able to make a backpack. 
Wow. Okay, they're spawning outside the house because that's where it's dark. That makes perfect sense, actually. Give me all that. Yeah, I want the magic. Whoa. Look, we got a fancy shirt. We got a fishing rod. I can't tell what it's. Hello, sir. I hear more. Do we have more in here? I, oh, goodness. Okay. That strategy worked. Why can I not hit you? There's not a yeah, not enough room for the sword to swing. Interesting. Well, I didn't think we'd have a mob farm on the first night, but you know. There you go. Another shirt. We can make our shirt. Oh, we lost the blue color. That's sad. Okay, still haven't, did we set the sand castle down? We did. We'll take a look at it in the morning. Prismarine, cook stuffed cod, a bucket of clam chum. Really? Clam chum? That's the tasty deliciousness. You're offering me today, game. Wow. At least there's pretty roses. Okay, it's about to be daylight, which is great. Um, I think I do have some. Bear with me. I'm going to jump down here and probably not be able to get back up. Okay, there we go. I wanted this so we could make one of these and so we could cook these. Give ourselves a little more food. Pick up this fishing rod. Oh, hi. Yes. It's interesting these guys, because they have fish heads, they don't burn up in the sun. Okay. Hi. You guys are definitely... I definitely want to turn that off. Are we done? Okay. Sandcastle. I think it's just ornamental. But it's adorable. Ecologics is the mod for that one. Okay, and one more barrel. Another seashell. A few more cod. I can't tell what enchantments these have on them. But... We're going to go with none and just turn it into a fishing rod that we can use. Uh, I don't know that we need... Player heads for anything? Nothing immediate. We can make zombie lanterns. That's cute. Oh, there is easy villagers in here. Awesome. I'm going to save our burgers for um, needing more fight. Okay, I think I, the twigs are really nice. What do we got? One more seashell for some more bone meal. I'm hoping there's flax. We'll take some cooked stuffed cod. Potion of luck? It'd be good for fishing. I don't know that we have time for fishing in our mod pack test here. 
Can't make those up. Okay, let's hop in our boat and head off to something interesting. The sword is taking a beating tonight. Where are we going? Well, we're on an island, so it doesn't matter. Let's go. It has a lot of creatures at once. Okay, so, so far, familiar structures. Probably need to take a look at JEI and see what there is to see. Um, I don't know what. We'll look at a tree real quick and try to figure out if we're looking at biomes of plenty or oh the biomes you go. Oh boy, that looks different. Is that a pyramid made out of dirt? Just a pyramid. Let's go check it out. Wow, the caving is insane. There's a lush cave down there. Hi, skeleton bro. Hanging out. Okay. Regions unexplored. That's our... That's our... Um, world terrain gen mod. Regions unexplored. Very curious about this. This looks like, uh, you know, hollow hills kind of thing. Definitely want to get up. What is this? Black terracotta. Does that just go forever? Apparently. Also. Just me and single player. This is such an... Oh, I hear things in there. Healer. Oh. That sounded like a raid kind of thing. It was the raid noise. Very mysterious. Oh, okay. Okay, here's where we're exploring. What do we got? So it's a temple. We'll go back into survival. Hold on. Nice. That is definitely a jukebox mob. Uh, I have slowness. What do I have? Mining fatigue. Oh, that's horrible. Law. I can't break any blocks. Music is really loud. Okay. I think we'll come back to this. So dungeon type thing. If there's mining fatigue, I feel like there's a guardian in there. Right? That would be my guess. Okay. Oh, we've got a ship near the shore and what looks like an airship to the south. Let's go check those out. The jukebox mobs are very cool, but also very loud. Okay, there we go. Bumble zone is available for everything in the mod, including progression and how to play. The Bumble Zone. Oh, is this for the bees? Is that Bumble Zone? It's cool. Okay, this smacks of... How's my... My sword is not great. 
ha ha! Okay, hi. That was almost death. Nope! Oh, that was death. <laughs> awesome. Where did we die? Over here. That's far. It's far! Do our little magic hatchet thing. Cut down a tree, make a boat, and run back over there. Super easy. A pig. If I stand here, do I get all the stuff? I do. That's nice. Okay, now the ultimate irony is that I'm actually going to empty my inventory because... When we get to hopefully our gravestone, I'm positive that we will not have room for anything else. What do you think is faster? Probably my boat. Do, do, do. I mean, I know I could fly over there because we're testing, but we're also testing, you know, death runs. Death runs and uh, whether or not. Also, you can see new stuff if we go. Whoop! Like some kind of spider scorpion thing. Not very pleasant. We'll pass on that. And can we get there? Let's go around via boat since I think it is faster. It's another glorious morning in Minecraft. She says we gotta look for the sun. Oh dear. The sun is going down. In hindsight, a shield might have been a good idea. There's our pyramid of mining fatigue terribleness. So, oh, there's got to be a guardian in there or something that gives you mining fatigue. I mean, we're kind of taking the long way. Oops. We're kind of taking the long way around, but you know, eh, come on, turtle. <gasps> turtle, what's up, buddy? Are you friendly? It's an Archelon. Jump height 4.4. <gasps> You're a mythic mount. Oh, how do I? I think I just hop on you until you're my friend. Like the dragons. Look at that health. <gasps> Are you my friend now? Do I need a saddle? I probably need a saddle to ride you like anything else. Dad gum. Okay, best friend forever. We'll be back. They have turtles you can ride, people. That is spectacular. Are we headed towards our death marker? Yes, I'm getting there. Because... What? I mean, it wouldn't be Minecraft without a midnight death run. Oh, that's a, that's a, <laughs> I was like, oh, a structure. Yes, that's a dungeon, Winnie. I think we'll avoid that. I don't know that we'll get our stuff. We'll see. The Skeletors may be out in spades. Look at that spider. Okay, I'm not a fan of like realistic looking spider. Bleh. Here's the backside of Crazy Pyramid Tower. Also, it looks like we have a couple of flowers that give off light, which is fun. 
Okay, let's see if we can go grab our stuff. Maybe. If we don't make it this time, I'm definitely going to just fly. So, you know. We'll do this the stealthy way. Possibly. Don't see ya. Just gonna sneak over here and get our stuff and hope there's a gravestone. Yes. Turn out our item. Copy of Winnie Wriggle. Nice. Make it back to our boat. Beautiful. Okay, it's a little dangerous out here at night. Oh, that's my ambient light from my torch. I was like, why is the bottom of the ocean lit up? What I want to do is avoid anything red looking in the water. I want to go back to our turtle friend and see if maybe we can is he going to show up on the map as a pet no it's okay test my direction finding abilities because I have a feeling the back of the turtle is probably one of the safest places you could be I hope I hope I don't get the turtle killed we're gonna test it so mythic mounts is in here we'll also take a look at uh, JEI and see what else we've got going on in this pack I'm just hoping that we don't here we go. There's one tur turtle bro. Is this our turtle bro? I don't know. I feel like it's not, but it is. Okay. You have saddle and armor slots. That's really cool. First question is, can we craft a saddle? No. Next question is, what do we have in the way of JEI? So there's only 99 pages of mods so it looks like we've got uh, pretty pipes which is great uh, supplementaries which has wonderful stuff got sophisticated storage probably sophisticated backpacks yes so we're gonna need some rope a sack a chest and three leather so rope is flax that's easy to do a sack is string and flax. Just so they've modified the recipe a little bit. That's great. I'm glad we saved the bone meal. We should be able to do that, no problem. We've got the rats mod. Um, qualities delight. So this is the quality food mod. Ecologics. That's what gave us the cute. Oh, we got immersive armors. Bone chest plate, heavy chest plate. Oh, we can make like wooden boots and leggings. Robe leggings, blaze powder and wool. <gasps> it gives you fire resistance. That's cool. Botany pots. Fantastic. Alex's mobs, Alex's caves. Got the artifact mod. So again, we're reviewing a mod pack, so we want to make sure we know this all looks like create. That's great. What was that? Those look unfamiliar. Mob lassos. Holds animals. Golden lasso. Oh. You remember golden lassos from, um, what was it called? Extra Utilities. That's one of the best mods. Extra utilities. All right, we've got chapstick and tea this morning. What else we got? Alex's caves. Not really um 
familiar with that one. Railing. Okay, moving on. Uh, looks like Architect's Palette. So some building. You can hear the turtle making noises under me. So create new age. Wow, there's solar panels. Carbon brushes. Some cool create stuff in here. Mmm, create food. Wow, there's a lot of create things. Oh, there's thermal. The thermal series. That's good to know, so that'd be good for mining. Make a drill. Power, basic ore processing using thermal. Yep, thermal expansion. Got some cool marmors. Oh, we've got the undergarden dimension. This is cool. This is kind of, you know, coming across a little bit kitchen sink. But it sounds like progression has been built into it. Okay. Mr. Turtle, going underwater is not cool. Thanks. Just decided you need to go under there. Really? Thanks. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Lots more decorative stuff. Got twigs, which lets you do a couple of cute things with furniture. Sword in the stone. Ooh. Those all look like um, and tarot cards. That sounds cool. No idea what that does. The Bumble zone. Okay, yeah, this is this is a B mod. Okay, buzzing briefcase, B cannon. This all looks very cool. Different banners. Royal Jelly. Uh, Tom Simple Storage Mod. That's a great one. Kind of some, like a super lightweight version of Refined Storage. Uh, we have Refined Storage. Good to know. Our Skeleton Bros, which are from Realm RPG Fallen Adventurers. Uh, treasure Pots. Got the Power Mod. What else? Mine cards. I don't know what that is. Modular routers. It's cool. Moa decor with some toys and statues. Basic item filters. Infinity buttons. Oh, look at these. Hostile Neural Networks. Forgotten Guardian Data Model. Hostile Neural Networks. I'll have to check that out for sure. I have no idea what that does. It seems like Mob Farm stuff. Right? Handcrafted. It's got some good things. Chimneys, furniture. Um... Farmer's Delight, which is great. Exchangers. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got uh, extra storage. That's all refined storage things. Embers. Embers rekindled. Oh, I love the Embers mod. That's very cool. It's got basic um, kind of mm, ore processing stuff. And these are all decorative. What was that from? Deeper and darker? Eek. Create stuff in additions. It's all the fun stuff in create. More create. There's basic create. What's all this? We've got uh, 
Crabber's Delight. Oh, tell me we can make a crab trap. Because that's fun. We can. Bamboo, Heart of the Sea, Safety Net. That's awesome. What can you do with crabs? Cook them. Make delicious things like crab cakes. I love it. Okay, what else we got? I promise we're almost done. Jet suit at Astra. Okay, so we could go to the moon. Hey, Nightmare Place. How's it going? How are you this morning? And then I think the rest is Minecraft. So, nothing crazy in terms of mod selection. Thanks for the overnight ride, Mr. Archelon. I promise I'll try to find a saddle and come back for you. Can we make a waypoint here? Giant turtle friend. Okay. Let's um go where we haven't been before. So I think the skeleton boat of death is probably not a great idea. Let's go north. Let's see what else there is. Heavy emphasis on create. I feel like um, a couple of dimensions. Worth noting, there's good creature mods. So I would give this maybe, um, you know, four out of five for atmosphere and mobs. Like interesting things in the world to do. I'm a little surprised there aren't more structures. To do things in like uh, there was the one dungeon. The fish zombie spawner, which is cool. I also don't have a problem. Like, I don't want my whole world messed up with buildings and things. Oh, look, jackpot. Aquatic card bot, copper nuggets. Look, we need a, we need a backpack, friends. Let's see if we can find some um, flax. There we go. Flax on the beach. What do I not need? I do not need seashells right now. So there are two flax seeds. Let us go find some dirt. And uh, sit here on the beach where we can find more bone meal if we need it. And we're gonna take our hoe and hoe it and plant it like so. And then grow some flax. And harvest it. Oop. And pick up the seeds again. I don't need a potato right now. Oh, so many, so many things. Let's uh, do that. And that. And that. Wow. Okay. Like, I'm carrying a dandelion around. Okay, I need that. I don't need that right this second. Got one flax. That's good. Here we go. Can I not? I can hoe it. So let's put our... So we need to make rope. And what else? Whatever that other thing was in the recipe. I think we, I feel like we need something like 24 flax. Uh, it's nice to know. Let's see if we have a few more shells out here we can use to get some bone meal. Nice, nice. All the shells. I need all the shells. Technically, we could go back and farm skeletons. Ha ha, that. Okay, so, so far, very pleased with this pack and it's little
22. That should be enough. Let's look at our backpack recipe. Doo -doo -doo. Let's save it. We can also make a satchel from thermal, which is four leather, a tin ingot, and some wool. Oh, you know what we don't have is leather. Let's see if there's a way to make leather. And grind a saddle. Trade the bees. If I made a redstone furnace, we could turn leather armor into. Loot fabricator, we can cut up leather armor. So our shirt is one leather. We could get bunnies. What about, um, forget it's called rotten flesh now. Can we do anything with this? I realized there was no actual recipe for leather from zombie flesh, but sometimes mod packs are funny and you've got to kind of hunt around. Okay, no, we can make food. Definitely redstone furnace, which I don't think. We'd need bricks. Gold wire. Put through a rolling mill. Wow, that's very complicated. You know what? I think we should just find some cows. <laughs> That would be the easiest. Okay, let me um sort through this. Cause I don't think we need oh let's figure out how many uh okay we need three makes three rope. So we need six flax for our rope and eight flax seven flax plus a piece of string. So eight flax. We have plenty. Six and and nine, basically. I'm gonna take my seeds. We don't need black terracotta. We do need a new pick. And I know we're probably getting oh. Really? You have to be a pebble. That's a thing, huh? This is my only um, beef with the pebble stick starting thing. Pardon me, got a little coughing fit there. Is you have to go back to pebbles to make basic tools when I have access to cobblestone. I'm not clear why that's a thing. Okay, do I need any of that? Not well, I do want the rotten flesh, even though I know I can't dry it. And let's turn. No, let's save those. Okay, we need cows. There are sheep. There are chickens. There's an ant. I bet there are cows. Oh, there's sheep. Did I say sheep? I meant pigs. You know what we should do is make a pair of shears. Oh, that's the next question. Can we make a, um, if we can make string with our flax, can we make a sleeping bag? That is any piece of wool and a sheet. So we need four pieces of wool. Make a sleeping bag, which is 12 string. I mean, that's the same as making a bed. So let's make a bed. Boom. And I will grab some more shells and make some more flax. Things are dying. Y'all gonna drop cool stuff for me? Drop some bones, buddy. Don't see me. 
The other one dropped bones. Ah! No, he went in the water. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the screaming during our peaceful Minecraft. Uh, I don't need those right now. I just want to turn this into bone meal. More shells for me. Oh goodness. Okay, let's um do that. Mr. Enderman. You are very spazzy today, my friend. Yeah, that last beach was covered in shells, and this one's kind of meh. Give me one more shell. Game. There we go. Oh, I get close enough to pick it up. Okay. Let's make... The uh, Enderman's still hanging out there. Are you lonely, Enderman? Are you looking for companionship? With your block of sand. Oh, one more. Put all those seeds down, didn't I? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oop. Yay, the last one did. Okay. 17, that should be plenty. Plenty. And let's go find cows. Because that's our whole point. Um, is there anything else I can leave here? Like, do we care about the magic apple or the sand? Probably not right now. Not in this phase. Okay. Oh, let's not forget that skeleton hanging out in that pond. Hopefully this field will have cows in it. Or sheep. Oh, I think we have um, a nutrition mod of some kind. This is taking longer and longer to eat the same kind of food. Interesting. Do our pants have step height? No. There's pigs. Hi, pigs. I need some cow friends or some sheep friends. I mean, we need cow for leather, for sure. What are we in a flower field? That's nice. Oh, there they are. I need to be paying attention to the map. Now, do I have enough spots? Yes, I do. Cows, we thank you in advance for all your leather. What did I get? I got cow carcasses. Really? Okay, that's a cool mechanic. Four cow carcasses. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, okay, cow carcass needs to go through... It's you cow hide. Uh, and a cow hide I can put on a cutting board and get three leather from. Okay. So I need a mechanical saw. Which takes three iron plates and an iron ingot and an andesite casing. Andesite is, should be... Tin or iron, but it's only tin in this pack. Okay, so if we've got a little bit of um, recipe alterations, that's kind of cool. I didn't really plan on. Is that more cows? 
I don't really plan on going mining while we are looking at a mod pack. It's kind of hoping to find uh find some leather. Oh look, there's a house. I mean, the cow carcass is kind of hilarious, though. You gotta admit. Also, they have cute horns. Look at them. Thanks. Or if we could find, if creates in this mod pack, there's a chance there might be structures that are create structures. There might actually be a sawmill in that structure. Give me your carcass, dude. Oh, they only stack to eight because presumably it's a giant cow carcass. That's fair. What? Oh, little snails. Okay. That's another, I think that's another fishing thing. Okay, so overall, I would give this um pretty good score in terms of interesting things to do. Like the recipes are different, not crazy hard. And I know it is classified as a light expert pack. Oh, y'all are in here. Okay, so yeah, it is another, another one of these. Um, I'm gonna take those because bone meal. Look at the C2 mending. Trading upgrade, fishing rod upgrade. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. Reclaimed. Another seashell I can turn into bone meal. I don't know why I need clay balls. I will fork. Well, yeah. And we know there's a barrel under here with more seashells. There's rain potions of luck. More cod. That's cool. Okay. Really want, that's back where we died. Kind of hoping for more structures, like a village. Or something. Okay, in the last couple of minutes here of looking at this pack, so I do want to take a look at all the fabric. Um. So the pyramid, the mountain pyramid was interesting. I haven't found another waystone, but we know waystones are in here. Oh, there's a village. Speak and you shall be rewarded. And I'm hoping we've got, I did not notice any um, looter chests. But I don't think we've seen chests yet. I think it's only been the barrels. Oh, we got the that rewards mod, which is fun. Bounties, that's what it is. Word I'm looking for. A basket. That's cool. Oh, this is all uh, Farmer's Delight stuff. So probably full of food. Nice, nice. This is the bounties mod. You can come up here and it'll say, if you bring me 46 cobblestone and 16 bone, I'll give you basic bullets. 41 logs, oh, which we have. Uh, what do I do? Can I put... I put it in there? I take it, and then what? Cut rewards, one hammer, one teddy bear. So how do I, how do I claim it? There we go. Okay, so if you have the items in your inventory and you right click on the bounty board with 
the bounty itself, you get the items. So now I have a teddy bear and 14 hammers. That's awesome. We'll get rid of our zombie flesh. That's awesome. So for four goat carcasses, you get six ender pearls. It's a very useful exchange permit. I like the teddy bear. Super cute. Okay, typical village. That's a saw. A universal sawmill, not the mill we're looking for. It does have um, the little villager protectors. Good morning, koala. Yes, everybody's early girl today. We're checking out the mod pack uh, that Panda mis mentioned yesterday, which I, I'm sorry, the name is too hard to remember. Uncharted expeditions it's cool it's kind of a kitchen sink light expert so some of the uh crafting recipes have been modified is there leather there's a pair of leather pants look at that Dubby wubby bacon cheese burger burger three burger buns sliced onion beef patty cheese with bacon excuse you what okay Apparently stealing from the village got me bonked. I didn't touch any of you. Seriously, dude. Was it really opening the chest? And taking things? Okay, opening the chest didn't do anything. What if I took your bread? Huh? I took your bread. Now what? Why'd they get mad at me? Maybe nobody was witness to my crime. Hmm. That was really weird. Did I accidentally hit him? I'll have to go back and look at the footage. What? That is the biggest chicken on the planet. What even are you? There's kitties. You're enormous. Monster chicken. Ooh, there's all kinds of goodies. What I want is leather. Nope. Cages. Plastic waste. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Nothing can be turned into leather. The leads are cool, though. We can turn the leather pants into a piece of leather. Okay, so there are ways to work around stuff. What's happening? See, now they're mad. It's because I took stuff. I'm sure. Does that have a cooldown? Oh, no. I mean, that's an iron sword. I'm just saying. Anybody else see that? I don't think. Oh. Look at that. Is that a seahorse? What are you? A river mermorph. Realm RPG sea dwellers. It's kind of cool. So there's like mermaid people in the rivers. I think that is an excellent place to stop. <laughs> That's really great. That's. I think this is a good mod pack. I would call this like a it's a solid... There's something floating up there. I'm just saying. Okay. We have the technology. Let's go look. What on earth? It's like a... It's a balloon box. Pop the balloon. It turns into a chest. I want to make sure I can pick up the chest. Set the chest down. <gasps> Look at that. I'm breaking through. Wow, that's great. And a whole bunch of experience. I'm breaking three, not back two, holding three, efficiency five, and another holding three. So look to the skies in this pack. I like it. It has um it's got some little unique surprises in it. 
which are good. Also, death. Frequently. It's a good start. Okay, let's switch. And for the next hour, let's take a look at all of Fabric 7. Unenchanted Expeditions, you surprised me. I'll give you a solid 4 out of 5 for well done organization, recipes, questing, um, and uh, making things that are in a lot of mod packs very interesting, which is... You know, that's non-trivial to do that. Very well done. Very well done. Okay, now let's take a look at all of Fabric 7. We're switching. I'll put up our back soon while I'm still talking. While I get this launched. Um, yes, I understand it's a mod pack. Please start it for me. There we go. Minecraft is like, yeah, I'll start, maybe, possibly. Okay, all of Fabric 7. Now, I took a look at this in beta. It's um, had a number of releases since then, like when it first came out. All of Fabric are some of my favorite mod packs. I actually have um, at least one All of Fabric series, if not two. They're so good. The other one I love, um, the gang always puts together a good one, is Valhelsia. I think their world gen is amazing. Okay, here we go. All of Fabric 7. I should switch my icon, but I didn't make a second icon. So we're looking at... Gamma. You know, it's <clears throat> so this is probably a hefty mod pack too because my computer is very good. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful with the snuffles. Okay, here we go. See, I've already tested it once. Um, let's do a new world because we never know how world gen has changed since. That one, I think I only spent like 20 minutes running around. So you can see that I spend a lot of my time test playing new mod packs. I also hang out in a couple of the uh, modded Minecraft discords and do test playing for folks. Okay, we're going to call this all of Fabric 7 test. Put it on hard, put cheats on just in case. Hey yourself, Nightmare Plays, how's it going? Let's do some world gen. All of Fabric 7. Fabric is such a great, so if you don't know, Minecraft modding can take place on one of two platforms. First is Forge. Think of it as um, like an operating system, like how your computer has Windows, but maybe if you're super fancy and do development, you might be on a Linux machine. So Linux is the operating system. So they're basically two different, mm, it's just a metaphor, operating systems for mods. You can either use Forge or Fabric. Fabric was designed as a uh, super fast. Oh boy. I can tell there's going to be chaos. Let's see um, if we do have. Uh, let's put our silver shaders on. Because we love them. And they're pretty. And let me go real quick into lighting and turn off. Okay, God rays are off. I may have already done this. Let's see. Uh, shadows, colors, 
Lighting, lighting, yes. Shading, oh, emissive light. I have done this. Right? Yeah. Okay. I love it. When a plan comes together. Done, done. I change uh, shader lighting so I can see better at night. So it's not too crazy. Okay, can I already tell we've got uh, some world gen issues with how close the mob things are generating together. That's okay. Also, what is that? This is a little like wooden house right underneath us. Hello. Hello, sir. Sorry, I just spawned in on top of your universe. Oh, you're a flower seller. A wandering gardener. Lovely. I'm going to take some candles from you, sir. I love it. Wow, this is super dark in here. We've got a quest book. Nice. Getting started. Welcome. Tasks. Click the checkbox. Fully claimed. Okay, we can snuff our eggs. I don't think I want that right. I'll let the journey begin. Um, tasks. Nice. Claim rewards. And there's our friend here. Okay, it looks like we have challenges, adventurer, farming, storage, utilities. What have we got? Fluid hoppers. All this stuff I am not familiar with. Oh, that's mob grinding. Lassos, awesome. Tools and armory. What kind of armor we've got? Uh, mining drills. At Astro, we can go to the moon. Applied energistics. Do you have create? Which is awesome. So there are quests for each. Oh, and deep mob learning, which is that one from the other one as well. There must be a fabric and a forge version. Industrial revolution. I'm not a huge fan of this mod, but it is basically the equivalent of thermal expansion for fabric. Modern industrialization. Oh, I'm sorry. I got those backwards. Modern industrialization is the one that I have. I find challenging. Yes. The bronze and the whatever. Industrial revolution is not bad. It's basically a recreate of... Um, Oh, I can't remember the name of the mod that it mimics. We've got Power, Tech Reborn, which is a fun one. That's probably the one I would use. Bewitchment. Nice. And Batania for fabric. Super good stuff. Okay, now the most important thing is do you have an excavator? We do. And it instantly puts them in your inventory, which I love. And let's grab the rest of those. We're going dark oak today, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, this is going to hurt. Ow. Okay. Let's uh, head out into the light here. Sheep. Oh, what kind of shears? Can we make bedrock? Man of steel, regular ones, okay. Hi sheeps. Foxes, sheeps, look at our map. I think we're doing um Zero's mini map. Ah, uh, village to the south of us. Let's do that. There's south.
World Gen is beautiful. What are we using? Tech Reborn. Blooming Nature. I can't figure out what's generating our our world our terrain gen. Whatever it is is very interesting. I hope this is a village and not another scary mob farm place. Oh no, I see bookshelves. That seems positive. Oh, it might be mixed with a scary mob farm place. Wow. Okay, A plus for um, dungeon terrain generation. What even is that? We'll have to go check it out. But we have the oversized villages, which should have looter chests. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be like jackpot. Uh, have apotheosis, which is fantastic. That's good. That's good. We love apotheosis. Have a enchanting table or seven. Did I miss a um, chest over in the other one? Probably. I did. Books and leather. Backpack in our future for sure. Just hopefully find a couple of pieces of iron in here. Wow, watch that first step. It's a doozy. Oh, we have all the gear. Okay, what do we got? I should have checked those enchantments in case there was anything bad. <laughs> Whatever. Empty map. Go pass on the empty map for right now. Gold. All the things. Okay, do you have any gem slots? We have one in the shovel. <gasps> I forgot that giant hole was there. There was almost death. Okay, let's run over to the other. I think this is just bees. Or gardening stuff. No chests. Wow, there are some dangerous pitfalls. Here, here. Can I reach that? Yes. Do we need paper? Probably not. Not right now. This village is huge. Huge. Is that a squirrel? Squirrel, what's up, buddy? Why are you running from me? What are you? You're a lizard. I'm sorry, not a squirrel. My bad. Lizard's pretty cool, though. A shirt, another shovel. I feel like, um, oh, some food. That's excellent. Potatoes. Okay, so A plus for having the giant villages and looting things. We are fully geared up. Okay, plus three. Plus three knockback plus health. Let's do that one. Empty socket and empty socket. Nicely, nicely. Hi, cows. I got plenty of leather. You're safe. We got seven armor, six armor. Apotheosis is a little bit OP in terms of gear. Look at that. Pickaxe, axe, all the shovels. I do like my shovels. Cannot tell the lie. Okay, uh, fire, gravity, step height. Don't care. Attack, toughness, no. What are you? Max health, sure. 5% to all stats, okay. Crit, crit, max health. Speed, luck. Gravity, swim speed. That might be fun. Wow, you could spend all day looking at um, heavy boots. Armor, armor, toughness. Negative speed on that one. No thanks. 
for max health. <gasps> Red Panda plushie. Running shoes. Yeah. A little more bread. I think these are an artifact. Yep, so they go in our... Ooh, that's our stats. Armor, 17 half, armor toughness. Where is our um, equipment? Le oh, here we go. So if you hover, if you hover over your feet, you can see we can put the running shoes. So there should be a backpack slot, yeah, and a an elytra slot and all that. That's good. Well done. Well done. We'll uh, save the village marker. Excuse me, sir. I would like to take a little nap in your bed. Okay, so we're in all of fabric seven. Uh, the looting here is intense. Oh, wow. Our running shoes make us fast. Look how fast we are. Holy crap. With step assist. Okay, well, we'll be uh, making quick work of this mod pack. <laughs> Jeez, I'll take that. Oh, we get Spectrum. Start of a journey. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Glad I started a journey. Ooh, food. Um. All the things. Shepherd's pie. I need a bowl to eat that. Oh. I do not need a bowl to eat sushi. Thank you very much. Thank goodness. I set it back down. Oh. No, I ended up just picking all that up. Okay. Uh, can I? Nope. Oh, dear. Houston, we have a problem. I mean, I'm not opposed to a salmon roll. Okay, let's see what we need to make a backpack. Please tell me you put the good backpacks. Yes, so in fabric, the backpacks you want to put in is the packed up mod. Travelers backpacks are cool and we should find a bunch in chests, but they're crazy expensive to start with. Like you have to make glass and a sleeping bag. I don't know. They just seem awkward to craft. Whereas this one is just a bunch of leather, some string sticks and a chest. So I need one piece of string. What can we do? We could make, we could get some flax to do that. Okay, we'll work on that. Maybe we'll find a backpack and a chest in here. Wow, it's so fast. Trident. That's some good damage. What is that? Colorful world. We'll look at that. I think this is, uh, Spectrum is the ability to progression, exploration, delivery, and magic mod where you combine colors. Unlock new things as you progress. Still in development. Okay. So you get gemstones. There's a pedestal, which I guess is the crafting mechanism. The paintbrush. Um, it's kind of, it looks like the equivalent of the magic wand. And I guess as you make those things, the rest of the mod unlocks. That's very cool. You know, what we don't need is like five shovels, I think. One attack. What are we, what's our durability on these? 250, 250. They're all the same. Um, that one doesn't have gem slots. Two, three mining speed. Luck. Luck, but no gem slot. Okay, here we go. More bread. Uh, I'm going to take the smithing table because that's how you add gems to gear. So apotheosis. Here we go. So I said, remember, we have um, gem slots, those empty sockets at the bottom. Uh, do we have any? 
Here, let's add it to our pick. So if we put our pick in here and we find a gem that works in, there we go. So this adds uh, additional experience. And then this one gives us more durability. So now we have 25% increase in durability basically and more XP on that tool. And we freed up some inventory slots. Uh, let's do the same for maybe our ax. Crit damage, max health. What does that do? Nothing. What does that do? Armor pierce. That's cool. Turns our axe into a super axe. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the other one. And what else can we use? Do anything? No. That add anything? No. So these go in, those go in armor. Hold on. My bad. So. Negative gravity. Oh, 10% max health. Let's do that to our chest plate. So we add our chest plate. 10% max health. Put that back on. And you can see now we have two rows of hearts. So um, that's really good. Helmets, pickaxes. Helmets plus 5% to all stats. I mean, yeah. There we go. Nice. And this is core armor. Boots, swim speed. Let's make ourselves swim faster. Beautiful. So picking up gems as you go is super important. And finding a smithing table also very helpful hello sir Ooh, there's a gem for it what is this lacerating novice wander the frost lands this is from wizards Ooh, frost rune arcane rune amethyst shard oh i don't know this at all rune crafting spell binding Those look like more runes. Yes, frost rune, frost rune. Another gem. Fire rune. I don't know what they do. It's cool though. More amethyst shards. Give me that. Thank you. Ooh, wizard robes. Adds to your armor, max health, more fire runes. We need a backpack, people. We do. I need one string. Von, Von Sting. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, somebody's not having a good day. Also, we're taking this. Okay, um, string is flax. I feel like we've almost got every chest. Maybe not these buildings here. Okay, I'm trying to make this a little faster. You literally, the looting is fantastic. Nope, we have a better mining speed, dodge chance. Some more bread. Wait, is there gold nuggets in there? No. All kinds of seeds and stuff, which I'm sure are amazing. Who's that got that kind of time? Ooh. Ah! Why were you trapped in here, sir? I have a feeling it was a... Oh, it's that building kind of spawned on top of them. I got it. I got it. Okay, we got everything. I feel like most of the chests have been 
open on that side of the village. We'll do a couple more over here. They're just so good. Ooh, wool. Ah, a stalwart goose plushie. What? Are you adorable? You're adorable. What? I mean, I want all the plushies, but we're just test playing. Okay. Here, we're gonna leave Mr. Fox in here to keep you company. Emerald, more wool. Taking all the wool because if I recall, I think we can get string by putting wool in a bunch of different things, but primarily a millstone. Which, if we had a little bit of andesite alloy, which is iron and andesite, we could do that. And that would be our string. If we can't find flax. Oh, it got dark again already. Holy smokes. Well, you know what we're going to do now is make a sleeping bag. Because we can. Let's see. Oh, it needs string. Oh, I don't want a bed. How about this one? They all need string. Fine. Fine, I'll make a bed. There we go. And we'll leave this here as a spawn point just in case. I don't know how I ended up putting wool there. Hello, sir. Okay, what direction have we not gone? Um, I think that's all the houses, except for these two. A lemur plushie of stubbornness. Look at them, they're so cute. Uh, oh, that's a good one for weapons. Attack damage, that's what we love. Put that in the axe. Not that I ever normally remember to use my axe to attack things, but you know. There's another panda plushie. Some wool and some shears, that's nice. Okay, very, very good on the looting for this pack. Absolutely, all of fabric seven is what we're in. Rabbit plushie. It's so good. And another pick, which I am going to take. I think we're going to... Uh, yeah, that's good. Don't need the furnace right now. Okay, let's go find a... Wow. Look in this last chest. Because we know there's some in here. There we go. Okay, we have a stack of books. We're golden. These giant... Those are to the north. Okay, that's where we were. Let's go south. There's another village. God. So I need to change the map settings. Hold on. Is it journey map? Where's my... Nope. Nope. There we go. Um... Minimap settings. Um, view settings, north, lock, on. Thank you. That's all I want. Okay, Sid, have a good nap. We want to go this way. Wow, we're so fast. Also, there's another chest we missed. I'm only going to take one stack of paper. Oh, another chest. Okay, leather. It's good. We'll take it. Wow, we're so fast. And here's a um, 
applied energistics thing. But what I'm mostly interested in, is there any tin ore exposed? Yes. I picked that up. Yes. Tin? No, I need zinc. I mean, tin is fine. Oh, it's different. Oh, that's lead. It's fine. I need... Or andesite. This might be a pack where the andesite only happens in those create formations. Lignite coal. It's another source of just coal. Like it's not that hard to use. Does this have the... Don't need lead. I want to make sure I'm not blind and missing. There's calcite. I'm not missing andesite, right? Like there's no andesite here. A little bit of limestone, which is create. Oh no, that's limestone from Blockus. Okay. But we'll take some generic. Coal ore. Really looking for andesite and or zinc. What's that? Silver. From Tech Reborn. Okay. Carry on. Whoa! Oh goodness, that was almost very bad. Okay, well. Oh, God! Does crouch not work? No! I can't crouch. Is my crouch key broken? Holy smokes. Keybinds? Oh God, we need to like show conflicts. That can't be a thing. That needs to be something else entirely. Wow. Okay, watch yourself because uh, <laughs> phew. Is that andesite? I think that's andesite. Are there many bad things down here? Yes, I think there are many bad things down here. Yeah, we need the andesite. Okay. I don't need that. I need this. 39. Give me all that. A stack. We got a stack. Do we have any iron? No. Is there iron down here? Is there zinc? There's zinc. Yes. What can we get rid of? Sushi, go away. I want the zinc. Ooh. Okay, that zombie's gonna come get us. Ha ha! Suck it, zombie. Okay. Uh, we're currently... In a very bad place. Let's see. Hi, Zombles. What's up? Why do you have 50 health? Okay, note to self. Mobs have a lot of health. 12. Can we have a little bit more? I would like a little bit more. More zinc if we can find it before that spider comes to us. Yep, 22 is good. Cobweb entanglement. What? No. I don't want to make that. Okay, there's more andesite. Um. I'm sacrificing. Ooh, what's that? There are chests down here. Barrels. I know that one of them explodes. Possibly. Potentially. I don't trust any of these. Okay. Coal. Zombie flesh. Iron. Spider eyes. 
More zombie flesh, more books. Uh, sugar cane. Smoker. More zinc. Okay, it is super easy to get resources, which I love. Let's get on out of here. Uh, don't need those. Nope. More zinc. It was meant to be. Okay. Twenty. Let's go. Can we? I realize we're leaving all this good stuff behind us, but oh, I can't jump because. Here we go. Let me out. It was worth the trip, but let me out. It was too many zombies. Too many zombies. Let's go this way. Dun, 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 dun. So it was worth it to fall in here. <laughs> we got, we got goodies. To staircase our way up, I don't have any inventory space. I'm not willing to sacrifice anything else. Okay, so we're in all of fabric seven. So far, five stars. Five out of five would play again. You can't go five feet in this pack without finding something to run into. I might take away a half a star because that could be very um, difficult when you're talking about finding a base place, location. Um, wow, or fast. These are the sneakers that we're wearing. They're an artifact. That's why we're moving like lightning. Um, we have managed to go in a circle. That's a gift. I'm trying to go south. <laughs> I'm trying to go south, I promise. Here we go. We'll just go back through the village. I got distracted. There was a hole in the ground. You know. Like you do. Oh, there's a bear. Bye, bear. This, this is the way to get around. That's making me a little dizzy. I'm not going to lie. And it's a little uh, block us, interrupt us. Oh, look, it's that same pyramid from the Uncharted Expeditions mod pack. That we know gives you mining fatigue. What? Was that some weird version of wool? Blue stitched wool. Well, I didn't want to pick up a blue stitch wool. Let's, um, it's a village over here. I was just going to stop in the woods and do stuff, but we're so fast. Darkies. Look how fast we are. That's craziness. Meow. Meow. Okay, we need a big house because hopefully there'll be somebody with a bed. No bed. Fine, we'll make our own bed. Look at us making a bed. Uh, give me that. Like so. And like so. And there we go. Okay. Hello, righty. Hello, sir. What are you selling today? Mushrooms and nether wart. That's kind of cool. I'm going to partake of your chest, my friend, because I need a little room to work here. So we'll put the magic mod stuff up. Um, and the candles. Okay, we need string. So we're going to do... 
we can do some shenanigans with create. Um, we need a millstone. There we go. And uh, that means we need andesite alloy. So we need zinc nuggets and andesite. So let's use our stolen blast furnace. It's perfect. Get a couple of zinc ingots. Turn those into nuggets. Turn that into andesite alloy. Turn that into a shaft. Let's um some logs. Uh, and let's take Stripping some dark oak logs. Take some more zinc ingots. We're gonna take our andesite alloy and we're gonna whack the logs to give us some andesite casings. And I think that's enough for us to make a millstone and a crank so that we can power it. So we need one andesite alloy. And I believe we can put the crank on the bottom. And I don't know if we can reach the top because we have limited space, but there we go. If I chuck, nope, not set it down. If you chuck wool into are you going in? Go in. There we go. Into the grinder. And we right click. When it runs out of materials, it should stop spinning. So right now it's processing the wool into string. We actually only need one piece of string, but I find string very valuable in modded Minecraft. This is the long roundabout way to get string. I bet if we went down to the shoreline of any river, we could find flax seed. But I don't have any bone meal, so I could grow it, but then we'd have to wait. And waiting seems, you know, oops. Don't I have other food on me? Yes, let's eat some sushi. I'll free up the inventory. Okay, so if I go back in here now, I have strong. Nice. Is that all of it? I think that's everything. Pretty sure I only put 11 in there. Okay, so we go back to our crafting table. And we go to backpack. And we go to this one, saved recipe. Uh, we need sticks and a chest. So there's some chests. Um, some sticks. Da da da! And a backpack! Woo! And we're cooking up the rest of our zinc. You know what I should have gotten while I was down there is iron. Oh well. At the very least. We can now store all this random goodness. Like the chess. Keep the wool, keep the food. And I believe we have a backpack slot. And if we have a key bind for the backpack. I don't know what they're called. Hold on. Easier to look at it. Oh my God. There we go. Packed up. That's it. Packed up. Traveler's backpack. Packed up. Open backpack. I do want it to be um, 
the plus key, but I don't want a quick waypoint to be that key. Do, 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 that can be something else. So now when I hit the plus key, we can open a backpack also. Field of use normal, it's good. Okay, do we want anything, any of this back? I think we want the runes from that magic mod. And the armor. We also want our precious grinder. And some iron to um, make the backpack bigger because the next upgrade would be some iron and leather, which adds a row. And then even some gold, diamonds, nice. Okay. Thank you, sir, for the use of your home. Also, Nether Ward, this early game, that's fantastic. Uh, the only thing you'd be missing is blaze rods in order to brew your own stuff. Okay, this village goes up the hill this way. Owie. Owie wowie. More looting. Okay, I can safely predict that you would spend the vast majority of your time in this mod pack looting. Which is fun, but also not necessarily great video. I feel like I should go jump back into that giant cave. Grab some iron. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find another one. Here's another dude. That's the same dude. We were just here. In case it was unclear, one of my Minecraft superpowers is running in circles. Mm hmm. That's a feature. I keep going that way. Let's go this way. We already looked at all those. I'm trying to get over there. I don't know why I can't get across. The ravine. There we go. Made it halfway there. Pardon me, we've got a coughing fit happening. Mm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, while we're here, um, I'm gonna run up here to these houses. And then let's take a look at some of the mods that are in this pack. Because I have a feeling it'll be nighttime soon. Brad, another gem. I don't tend to like the orange gems because they do fire damage. And that, I'm so klutzy, that's just not a good thing. Let's find a house with a door. We can make a bed. Ooh, an ender pearl jackpot. And another pickaxe. We should probably take. Okay. Let's um, make another crafting table. Oh, we have string now, though. We can make a sleeping bag. Pretty sure. Goodness gracious. Pardon me. There's... Oh, the frog in the throat is not going away this morning. Very yucky. Cough drop it is. Mmm... Okay, white sleeping bag. 
half string will get. Okay, let's take a look. So in this mod pack, we have 134 pages of mods. I actually like to go backwards through them. Also have supplementaries. We have applied energistics for fabric. Got some additional lanterns. Look at all those glorious things. These are fabulous because you can just make them out of, if I could find them. I use these a lot. Uh, like, look, you can make a bone lantern. So it's just bone with a torch. Cobblestone lantern. Um, if you go to the first one, here's a brick lantern. So it's just bricks with a torch. So you can make lanterns out of any material you have. So I could make, what do I have? Get our andesite out. And our torch, we don't have any torches. How have I not made torches, Winnie? Haven't even made sticks. That's a feature. Just been running around. Uh, wait, maybe it's four. There we go. So you can make 12 andesite lanterns from a torch and andesite. Like, Talk about expand your lighting for no cost at all. Isn't that great? It's pretty great. Can I use our sleeping bag? Woo. What else do we have? Rechiseled, which is basically uh, chiseled. You have a bunch of different blocks. It's like, I think the forge equivalent now is chipped. Oh, look, we've rechiseled for create. That's fabulous. We've got the wizard's magic mod. I'd be very interested in that. I don't know what all it does. We've got villagers plus, which I think means you can walk up to a villager and put it in your pocket. We'll go test that real quick. Is that a thing? Um, I need a regular villager. Can I shift click you into my pocket? No. Cleric. What do you give me? Bronze coins. Oh, we have a trading. Do I have enough rotten flesh to make that trade? I do. Give me those. Nice. Oh, and then your oh your price went down because I traded with you. That's nice. You take silver coins. Hmm. Numismatic overhaul. I wonder if you can print coins. A shop, the inexhaustible shop. Planks. Piggy bank. Oh, nice. Oh, piggy bank. I guess you can carry around your money. So it's flower pot and a bronze coin. That's cool. Okay, what else do we have? Um... There's lanterns, there's chipped, there are backpacks, uh, twigs, which has a decorative mod. We've got spectrum. Um, all kinds of stuff in there. I don't know much about spectrum. Weapons, armor, food, mob heads. Oh, that's the book we have, the Spectrum. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So there's a lot you can do with that mod. Holy smokes. Utilities, all kinds of stuff to check that out. Okay, we've got a bunch of weapons. Simply, 
Simply swords. We know that one. Tech Reborn. Includes armor, tools, machines. Um, industrial craft. That is the... Tech Reborn is kind of the reimagining of industrial craft. It was a great mod back in like 1.7 and 1.9. Okay, we've got Regions Unexplored. So that's the mod that's doing our terrain generation. And Biomes is Region Unexplored. We've got Power for Power. Uh, create, looks like Create Steam and Rails is in here. Which is great. I'm going to go pretty quick through these. Makov's Bridges, I recognize those. Uh, modern Industrialization. Is a tech mod kind of like Ender IO, but a little more complicated. Or like uh, thermal expansion, basically. Make a bunch of machines to process your ores and generate power. Uh, Industrial Revolution, I think, is a better version of the same kind of thing. It's just your preference. My preference is Industrial Revolution. We've got handcrafted, which has got a lot of decorative stuff, including like. Uh, decorative corner trims makes building really cool. What are these from? Immersive Armors. The Skeleton Bros. Oh, the Graveyard mod is here. So if we'd found a graveyard, that's a great place to get loot, early game loot. Uh, oh, a fishing mod. What have we got? Go Fish. These are awesome. It gives you loot barrels, uh, loot crates when you're fishing. And they are fantastic in terms of resources. Looks like our food mod includes Farmer's Delight. And Croptopia. Fantastic. Okay, a lot of Create Deco. More Create stuff. CC Tweet. Convenient decor. Oh, these are cute. Rain boots, rain hats, <gasps> umbrellas. What? Nice. Okay, those are all create blocks. Oh, it looks like we do have chipped in here, which is a fantastic decorating mod. Let's you change blocks, doors. Just a, an astounding number of decorating options. Batania. What else? Uh, more Batania. All the Batania. All Batania all the time. Blockus, another decorating mod. And Bewitchment is a magic mod. Does a lot of great stuff. Death Protection, Poppets, Enchantant, Braziers. Candelabras. Bakery. Let's do bakery. Oh, how cool is that? You can make chocolate truffles, waffles, jam rolls. All kinds of stuff. Okay, aqua marae. Lots. It looks like armors, tools, archers, the artifacts mods in here. Auto workstations is in here. The bakery mod looks really cute. Another furniture. Wow, so if you're into base building and decorating and a little bit of a little bit of realistic RP in your Minecraft, then all of Fabric 7. This is a fantastic mod. We've got Ad Astra, so you can go to the moon. Or other planets. Moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and Glacio. And then Minecraft. I think that's it. So that's the overview of the mods for all the Fabric 7. I would say um, this has got, this is not my favorite terrain gen, but we're also probably in some biomes that aren't my favorites. There's some gorgeous ones over here, like the Magnolia Woodlands are beautiful. Um, if we got out and about, the Highland Fields are pretty. But in terms of a bright and colorful and in terms of a world that is 
full of stuff to do in terms of looting and dungeons and mobs. All Fabric 7, holy smokes. They really, it's kind of to the power of 10 in terms of the content. So this is a great, um, I still would call this a kitchen sink pack because the quests are not linear really, but it's the quest book is a fantastic introduction to each of the different mods. So like if you don't know modern industrialization, uh, the quest, the quest line gives you a great method of following it so that you can learn what all the components are. Uh, same for deep mob learning. Like if I were going to do this mod, I would start with the quest line and use it. So that's two very cool mod packs that we have taken a look at today. Um, I got to bring up my notes so I can see the names of them. Uncharted Expeditions. I don't know why that won't stick in my head as an actual <laughs> mod pack name. So Uncharted Expeditions, solid four to five um, in terms of content. It's a light expert pack. It's really well done, very well crafted. It's on the light side in terms of number of mods. There seem to be, you know, one or two mods for each function. Um, it's world gen is lovely. Uh, a little more open, less things. All of Fabric 7, same thing. I would say 5 out of 5 in terms of your choice for different mods to do things. The world gen is chock full of stuff. I think if I had one point of criticism to say that they might do a little bit of balancing with the frequency of the spawns of the different dungeons and things, it's a little overwhelming to have this many. But, you know, because if we look at where we've been, there have been one, two, three major, um, you know, big dungeon structures. And we have two villages within like 100, I would say 300 blocks of each other, which, yeah, it's not a bad thing. It means the world is very exciting and interesting. So if that's your thing, all of Fabric 7, definitely a mod pack to check out. Okay, we're going to return next week with a brand new mod pack. I'm very excited to get started. I'm just waiting on the server to be set up for it. And we're going to spend a few weeks going through the steampunk mod. And it looks very cool. Um, it's heavily focused on create, which I'm very excited about uh, to get into all the create stuff and spend a few weeks doing a deep dive into some of the mods that I haven't spent a lot of time on. But that's everything I have time for today. I would say thank you very much for watching. I immensely enjoyed our morning together, just kind of randomly going through a couple of mod packs. We might do this again in the future. I found it fun. I hope you did. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out. I appreciate it. In the meantime, remember, you are all the shiny stuff that awesome is made of. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.